Because, Judy, um, how have you reacted to kind of certainly becoming, I guess, famous in America? That if you go to America now, people know who you are. Do you like it? Somet sometimes they do. <clears throat> sometimes. And in people nice are very nice places. And high <laughs> I love that. That doesn't happen here. That sometimes, because I, any time I've gone to New York, I've walked everywhere because I love it. Um, and somebody will come up and kind of high five you in the street. I love that. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Shocking, but that, I yeah. like it. That doesn't happen here. <laughs> <laughs> but the other day, I was with my grandson, who, as you know, looks very like Ed Sheeran. Yes. And, mm. and um, a group of people were there, and they said, may we have a photo? And I said, yes, of course. They said, no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah. uh, actually, there's that weird connection with you and Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran slept on my couch <gasps> for six weeks before he was famous. But how does that happen? Ed Sheeran, I, I was doing a radio show in L.A., and it was, it was, a, it was a satellite show, and he, he knew that we do music, so he comes to my radio show. Hello, James. I'm trying to get my music. You know, we'd love to hear my music, whatever. I was like, well, sure, whatever. Let me hear it. And so he lets me hear his music. Comes to my crib, and I had a, now I got the bigger crib, and the studio is incredibly <laughs> nice. <laughs> Because of the Kanye song. So, <laughs> so, so he plays. I'm like, you're incredible. So he starts. I said, listen, I know you don't have anywhere to go. Just chill here. I was giving him food. My daughter was like, who do you have over here now? Because I would always have people, you know, I would always like champion the artist. Yeah. And so <clears throat> I said, listen, man, I think you got the goods, but I got to check you out, though. So I took him down to this, this show that I was doing a live night every Monday in LA, uh, downtown LA. And it was like 800 black people. All black, like just the best musicians who plays, you know, the the, the guitar for Sting, and I mean the the, the level of the music yeah, is here. Yeah. And there was a dude up there rapping, and he was sweating, and he was black. And then another girl, she came up, and she sung, and she was black, and they was singing blackness. It was incredible. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, I say, ladies and gentlemen, Ed Sheeran, he pops out, <laughs> the little red hair, and a ukulele. <laughs> Homies, who's an incredible guitarist, but he's just true to the music. It came from us. This is black, black, blackity black, right? <laughs> and he says, yo, Fox, come on, man. What's this, man? What's this? What you doing to the room right now, man? You got to respect the room. And it was just like a movie. I said, well, let's see what the kid has. <laughs> <laughs> and he went out there on that ukulele, got a standing ovation in 12 minutes. Wow. And the rest was history. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Wow. Cheers to him. Cheers to you.